For today's video, we are going to talk about what is single trade discount and we are going to explain everything in details. So let's have an example. On example number one, compute the discount for an item with a list price of 1,250 pesos subject to a 15% discount. What is the net invoice price? To determine the net invoice price or the price after the deduction, let us identify first our given. So let us have the list price that is 1,250 pesos and we have the discount rate that is 15% or 0 0.15 in decimal. So to find the net invoice price, let us determine first the discount. And the formula to find the discount that is list price multiplied by the discount rate. So let us have 1,250 times discount rate that is 15% or 0 0.15. If you are going to multiply this one, we are going to have 187.50 pesos. So this will be the discount. And then let us have the net invoice price or the NIP that is list price minus the discount. List price that is 1,250 pesos minus the discount that is 187.50 pesos. If you are going to subtract this one, you are going to have 1,062.50. And this will be our net invoice price. So let me give you another solution on how we can find the net invoice price. First, let us determine the NIP rate. So to find the NIP rate, we are going to use the formula 100% minus the discount rate. So let us have 100% minus the discount rate that is 15%. 100% minus 15% that is 85%. So this will be our NIP rate. And then, let us use this one to determine the net invoice price. So let us have the NIP equals list price multiplied by the NIP rate. So let us have 1,250 multiplied by the NIP rate that is 85% or 0 0.85. So if you are going to multiply this one, we are going to have 1,062.50 pesos. So we come up with the same answer. On example number two, a living room set worth 5,300 pesos was granted a discount of 636 pesos. Find letter A, discount rate, letter B, net invoice price, and letter C, net invoice price rate. To answer the following question, let us identify first our given. So let us have the list price that is 5,300 pesos and we have the discount that is 636 pesos. On letter A, we are looking for the discount rate. And to find the discount rate, we are going to use the formula discount equals list price multiplied by discount rate. So let us have the discount that is 636 equals list price that is 5,300 multiplied by discount rate. And to simplify this one, let us divide both sides by 5,300. Let us cancel this one. So let us have discount rate equals 636 divided by 5,300 and that is 0 0.12. And if you are going to write this one in percentage, that is 12%. So this will be our discount rate. On letter B, we are looking for the net invoice price that is NIP equals list price minus 
the discount. List price that is 5,300 minus the discount that is 636. 5,300 minus 636 that is 4,664. So this will be our NIP. And to determine the NIP rate, so let us have NIP rate that is 100% minus the discount rate. So let us have 100% minus the discount rate that is 12% and that is 88%. So this will be our NIP rate. So another way on how we can find the net invoice price using the NIP rate, we are going to have NIP equals list price multiplied by the NIP rate. List price that is 5,300 multiplied by the NIP rate that is 88% or 0 0.88. And if you are going to multiply this one, you are going to have 4,600. 64 pesos. So we come up with the same answer. On our last example, an article was given an 18% discount amounting to 756 pesos. Find letter A, list price, letter B, NIP rate, and letter C, net invoice price. So to answer the following question, let us identify first our given. First, let us have the discount rate that is 18% or 0 0.18 in decimal and then let us have the discount that is 756 pesos. On letter A, we are looking for the list price. To determine the list price, we are going to use the formula discount equals list price times discount rate. So let us have the discount that is 756 equals the list price times the discount rate that is 18% or 0 0.18. And to simplify this one, let us divide both sides by 0 0.18. Let us cancel this one. So list price is equal to 756 divided by 0 0.18 and that is 4,200 pesos. So this will be our list price. On letter B, we are looking for the NIP rate and that is 100% minus the discount rate. So let us have 100% minus the discount rate that is 18%. 100% minus 18% that is 82%. And this will be our NIP rate. On letter C, there are two different ways on how we can find the net invoice price. First, let us determine the NIP using the NIP rate. So let us have NIP equals list price multiplied by the NIP rate. So list price that is 4,200 multiplied by the NIP rate that is 82% or 0 0.82. And if you are going to multiply this one, we are going to have 3,444 pesos. So this will be our NIP. And then, we can find the NIP using the discount. So let us have NIP equals list price minus the discount. Let us have list price which is 4,200 minus the discount that is 756. 4,200 minus 756 and that is 3,444 pesos. 
So we come up with the same answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.